Assalamu alaikum dear brothers and sisters. I hope you're well. Ramadan has started by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you are all set to observe it in the best way possible. You have your dates ready. You have filled your kitchen with Ramadan essentials. Noted down the tarawih timings and you think you are 100% ready to spend and observe this blessed month. But did you give a thought about your heart. Did you check your heart status before entering Ramadan? Yes, dear brothers and sisters, we are talking about the status of heart before entering Ramadan. The heart needs to earn the label of Qalbin Salim. What is Qalbin Salim? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala used the word Qalbin Salim to refer to what is translated as a sound heart. A Qalb Salim has been described as a heart that is free from disease and defects, a heart that is pure and sincere. From it stems good thoughts, pleasant words, and virtuous deeds. Qalb salim is a heart that is absolutely free from kufr, disbelief, and nifaq, hypocrisy. It is heart that is free from kibr, pride, hasad, jealousy, and hiqt, hatred. It is the heart which, due to extreme love for Allah and His Rasul وسلم, leads to total obedience to Allah and His Rasul. Kibr, Kufr, Nifaq, Hasad, and Hatred are the worst qualities that a heart can ever possess. Unfortunately, extremely religious and pious people also possess the disease of hatred and jealousy. Abu Huraira reported, the Prophet peace and blessings be upon him said, Beware of envy, for it devours good deeds just as fire devours wood or grass. How can we ask Allah for forgiveness and mercy when we ourselves are full of hatred and envy for others? We despise our fellow Muslim brothers and sisters and expect Allah to love us unconditionally? What is this except for hypocrisy? Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, There is a piece of flesh in the body. If it is good, the whole body is good. And if it is bad, the whole body is bad. Listen, that piece of flesh is the heart. Just like the human body, the human heart also experiences health and sickness. When the heart is sound and healthy, we are filled with tranquility and an awareness of our responsibility. When the heart is sick, it cannot carry out its functions well. Ibrahim salam supplicated to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and asked Allah not to disgrace him on the day when nothing will be accepted, except for the one who comes with qalb salim The supplication is as follows. وَلَا تُخْزِنِي يَوْمَ يَبْعَثُونَ يَوْمَ لَا يَنْفَعُ مَالًا وَلَا بَنُونَ and disgrace me not on the day when they are raised, the day on which neither wealth nor children will avail, except one who comes to Allah with a sound heart. In this dua, it is so clear that on the day of judgment, the one who is pure at heart will be awarded the ticket to Jannah, and others will be disgraced. So much importance lies in the purity of heart. Subhanallah. Anas ibn Malik reported, The Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him, said to me, Young man, if you were able every morning and evening to remove any rancor from your heart towards anyone, do so. Some of you may even say that you have tried much to purify your heart but are unable to do so. If you find it hard to attain, Qalb salim we can make a dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam has taught us. The dua goes as follows. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min sharri sam'i wa min sharri basari wa min sharri lisani wa min sharri qalbi wa min sharri maniyi. O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from the evil of my hearing and from the evil of my sight and from the evil of my tongue and from the evil of my heart, and from the evil of my issue. 
May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us among those whose heart attain the status of qalbis salim. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect our heart from hatred and envy. Ameen.